Welcome to the Narrowboat that James built. Hope you're very well, thanks for joining me. Well, I need to carry on with the flu install um, and that's really about the collar. The red oxide and the primer have had kind of a day and a half to go off, so that's ample. It's not ideal painting temperatures, so I thought I'd give it a bit longer. Um, and now I can carry on with the, um, with the collar installed. I need to grind down the roof lining. There's a bit of a seam um, which some people have commented would probably get in the way of the waterproofing and I'm, I, now I've been up and had a proper look, I, I agree. So I'm going to grind that down a bit and then put some more primer on it um, and, then, um, and then I'll be able to, uh, to put the collar on. So that's, that's something to do. I'm waiting on some information back from my surveyor um, about the flu install. Um, Michael has been sending me some uh, some emails about his concerns that I have done all I can to fireproof the stove um, and the area around that but because I'm having a single wall flu he's rightly concerned that I'm not paying enough attention to the lining of it and that's absolutely right I haven't really and that's because I'm trying to work it out once it's I've got to work out kind of what I'm dealing with now I know how far the collar actually comes through the roof and it is going to protrude through the timber ceiling. So I'm going to need to have some kind of contraption which drops down from the ceiling. Uh, Michael so kindly sent me some photos of his daughter's narrow bow and yeah, I'm going to go for something very similar to, to that, which will be a, as I said, basically something that hangs down, uh, which provides um, a, a, enough gap for the uh, between the flue and any combustibles obviously the thing that hangs down needs to be made of non-combustible material fortunately I've got some of that I've got some CS and some other bits and pieces so um, I will I will do some further investigation but if anyone's got any good ideas as to what metal um, could be used to line the roof with um, it there, it might be touching other parts of the timber, but it will, will be quite far away by that point. I want it to look, not look nice. I've seen some boats with kind of aluminium and even you can get a okay finish to it. it it's not really uh, kind of exactly the, the look I'm going for. So if there are any, any ideas um, or you know, metals you can paint and get a decent finish on that way, then, then I'm all ears, that would be great. I do have this, uh, I do have that which goes over the flue and onto something, so the actual bit of the flue which touches whatever you suggest I should use, there's that on there, but uh, other than that, and the, the, the kind of, the gap there I think is 40 mil, so that needs to be screwed into something. If that was screwed into the timber ceiling, then essentially the screw hold is only 30 mil from the edge of the flue. That is too close. Um, you need the timber to be about that far away, ideally, not that far away. So um, I'm still in a bit of a quandary, but Michael, I really do appreciate your um, concern for it all. Um, and by all means, uh, carry on being concerned about the flu. As I said, anything safety wise, uh, I'm all ears for. You can't badger me enough about it. But um, yeah, so I'll wait for the information back from the surveyors and see what see what they uh, see what they say. They came back with, Ian came back with exactly the right information. I asked him about the gas locker, uh, of which I've got to do a bit of work on that today. Uh, he told me exactly what the specifications are, what the recommendations are and what the rules are. So, um, Hopefully he'll come back and say exactly the same for the flu. Um, so I'm going to go out on the roof. The weather's okay. It's not raining. So now's the time to crack on. Quite a few people commented yesterday on um, just grinding down this seam here, just so it's a f flusher fit for when the um, for when the collar's on, just against the rain. 
and to be honest it's this higher edge here because that's where the rainfall is gonna or the water's gonna run down there so I want a tighter fit around there as possible and to be honest only really where the collar is it only needs to be on the outside here Whilst I've got the grey primer out, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to give the gas locker a coating. And weirdly, when I bought this boat, um, as you know, it came with a whole load of stuff which um, wasn't useful at all. Uh, I was told it would be useful, but it wasn't at all. One thing it did come with, which I thought I couldn't imagine a use for, uh, was a couple of lazy Susans. Um, and I thought, well, I won't chuck them out. I'll keep them because you never know, they might come in use. And lo and behold, they have. I can't believe I've actually found a use for them. And it's made it so much easier to paint this. So uh, that was a surprise. It's nice to have something which actually makes things easier for once. But this Craftsmaster primer goes on so nicely in comparison with some of the other ones I tried. Right, the time is ready to put the collar in. Um, obviously I've got to bolt it through from uh, the inside of the boat. Um, I've taken down that edge so it's got a decent seal on it and now I need to kind of improve the seal qualities and a lot of people use Sikaflex for this um, and I'm using something kind of related to Sikaflex. Um, it's called Pureflex 40. Um, so P40 is kind of ideal for this. This is as I said, it's made by Sika, but this is made in the UK as opposed to Sika Flexes, which is made on mainland Europe. Um, the difference being something called iCure, um, and iCure makes this a slightly higher weather resistant qualities, um, slightly more durable. Uh, it's quite expensive, this stuff, but it works a treat for this. So the idea is to put it all around here, like loads of it through the bolts as well and just just like load of it so I've got the markings as to where this is and the idea is to clean this up once you've bolted it through so obviously once it's been bolted through it oozes out more and you can't get this pure flex in normal shops i'm sure you can get it online and you can get it in loads of different colors i've gone for black on this one but only because it's for the collar but you can get it in different colors Okay, now for the 
bolts. And just before this pure flex trips down onto the stove, I'll go through with the bolt with a knife. Might put another one on that. not coming out anytime soon. It looks like Admiral Kilworth is leaning back in fits of laughter. I need his scarf back. Come here. Well, it's been cleaned up a little bit. I'll wait for it to dry then I will use a blade and get rid of some of the other bits and tidy it up properly. Well, I'm happy with how the collar's gone in. Uh, it's from the inside, it's really nice and secure. If I give it a wobble, stuff down the bow shakes, so you know it's pretty secure if that's taking place. Um, the bolts are all nicely secured in. I'm gonna get a couple more nuts to put on the end. Um, so uh, each one's got two on there. Obviously there is vibration in the boat, so um, having two nuts on there will just be um, a bit more secure. Obviously I've painted this. Um, I'm gonna probably give this another coat just because it's inside and it's on a Lazy Susan and that's quite fun to use. Um, so uh, I've got to do that. Uh, I'll crack on with that a bit later. But my, um, my light switches have arrived as well. So if I can, I mean, these are pretty big. I'll see if I can lift one up and show you one. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I did mention that I wasn't going to go for a typical domestic switch. Um, and indeed, these are not typical domestic switches. Um, if it was on the wall, you'd be doing damn well to find it. These are tiny. The problem with buying stuff online is, well, I didn't really check the dimensions, but these are absolutely mini. Um, they are what I wanted, um, just an on-off switch. Um, I ideally wanted one with a tiny little green dot on it, a green LED dot, so that if it was completely pitch black, you could see where they were. Um, but I couldn't actually find any that were in stock anywhere, so I bought these. Um, I don't think I'm going to install them because well, I might do temporarily because no doubt anything larger is going to have a slightly larger hole. So I'm not going to need anything 
uh, smaller than that. Um, these might be pretty good for the uh, the whale gulper for the shower. Um, you need a switch for that. You need a switch for well various things around the boat. So I mean, it will be quite useful. But I think for a light switch, th these are probably a touch on the small side. Anyway, there we go. So uh, back to drawing board with that possibly. But I'm going to crack on uh, with doing this tonight. Um, there's a few bits of um, grey primer to do as well on the outside of the boat. So whilst I've got the paintbrush out, I'll do that. And then the collar needs kind of cleaning up properly once it's had time to dry. Then it all needs again another coating of uh, primer. And then when the rest of the boat's been done, um, then it will obviously have some top coat done at the same time. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's my plan. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's been good. Hope you guys have been well. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.